wannabe from gleaming the pube oh what's his uh, name uh, 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 christian bader christian bader yeah slater bader uh. <sighs> doing it yeah i mean even from heathers man from the first thing he was ever in that motherfucker was just doing a straight up jack nicholson ripoff he even admits it. It's not like it's like something that he was trying to keep quiet. I mean, he'll, he'll blatantly say it. He said it many times in interviews. He's like, yeah, I was doing my, my best Jack Nicholson and shit. Yeah, um, well, you know, he's he's one of my favorite actors, Jack Nicholson, of course. What's he's your, very good. He's what, very good at what he does. What are your standout Jack Nicholson performances? Oh, well, I just watched... As good as it gets. I forgot how funny that was. Um, what's the one where he's the devil? Uh, what the hell is that called? Witches of Eastwick? Yeah, Witches of Eastwick. I mean, that was good. Oh, yeah. You know, The Shining, of course. You know, he's a pretty oh, kooky, yeah. crazy motherfucker. And, belie- and uh, believably nutty and shit in that movie. I mean, it's- I mean everything he does, he, he definitely, you know... <laughs> He, he he goes all out, you know, in his acting. Fucking there. And he can only do it that way, you know, for sure. True. He's got the gift. And you know, <laughs> even in like um, terms of endearment, he was really good in that too. He played a retired astronaut, and he was really good in that movie. Fucking a. And of course, he was the Joker. You know, he did. Yeah, he he was that too. Yeah. 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 Who was Batman in that one again? Was that Michael Keaton? Yeah, I think so. I believe so. The the original, the first Batman. The second first Batman. Yeah, I mean, in the movies, (laughs) updated modern Batman, he was the first. Did you see the the most recent Joker? Movie? No, who was who was Joker in that? Jared Leto? No, it's um uh Phoenix Joaquin. Ah. Uh. Really? It's actually it's it's pretty good. It's like I thought he'd, he I thought he oh that was yeah, that was Heath Ledger. Never mind. Okay, yes. Yeah, Heath Ledger did it and then Joaquin did it. And it was just that it was more about the Joker. It wasn't it, it's an interesting, I don't know if it's like the original story or if it's just kind of a spin on, you know, but it, it's like previous to Batman, like before Batman. Um, well, spoiler alert, it turns out that there's this, there's this, this young boy and he's, um, remember Batman, you know, his father was rich, right? Oh, yeah. He was a wealthy man and left him a fortune or whatever. Turns out the Joker was the bastard son, the older brother of Batman, and he was he was like an Ill, illegitimate child essentially. And so, being left to his own, you know, grown up in poverty, and you know he's all fucked up in the head and crazy. And he's actually Batman's brother, so all Batman knows is that he killed his father, which was the Joker's father too. See, Batman doesn't know the whole story, so. 
now he has a, a vendetta against the Joker because he killed his father, but it's actually his father was an asshole and left them, you know, to fucking die or whatever. So it's an interesting movie to watch. It's kind of hidden in there, you know, the, the details. Mr. Wayne gets a... Yeah, Mr. Wayne was a creepy freak sleeping with uh, prostitutes. He was just another in a long line of elite assholes who fucked the peasantry and shit and said, well, you know, sometimes you knock them up, sometimes you don't. And if it happens, well, then you gotta scrub them off. Get them out of here. Nah, nah, nah. (laughs) (sighs) Well, basically, the Joker's just kind of a a schizophrenic, like, uh, he he just snaps one day and starts fucking shit up, you know, because he can't take anymore becomes and then people idolize him because he's so out of control you know they they take after him they're like he's amazing like it's this whole allegiance behind him people do like people with balls yeah it's the way it goes natural born killers man what's up (laughs) but yo we got to put a pin in that for a second brother yeah and we got to say something like this Hey everybody, it's six and a half minutes in, but we're going to say welcome to the Ludcast. I am Matt Ludke, here as always with Mick Spliffles, and uh, we're obviously in a, in a, we've begun a rap about these things, and we're going to continue that, but, oh, hi, let's catch our, our wind here, let's get it rocking, and we just wanted to pause for station identification, so... Keep going, my friend. Blood cast, blood cast. <laughs> On WFU. Anyway, it, it's, I'm sure a lot of people have seen it, but it's it's pretty dark. You know, it's good, but it's pretty dark yeah. storyline. And um, he goes on like uh, I think it's De Niro has has a show like a you know a Gotham City like comedy show or like you know just kind of like a Letterman type thing. And uh, so he goes, he has the Joker on because the Joker gets popular like through, you know, social media or something. Yeah. And he has, he has him on the show. And uh, they start making fun of him and talking shit. And he like goes back and, uh, cause I forget what he does. He does something. They, they're really making fun of him. So he brings him on the show. And he pulls out a gun and fucking blows him away. <laughs> blows away De Niro. Fucking blam on the show. Wow. Pretty that insane. Is intense. You'll have to watch it. It's pretty. That's intense, man. Yeah. Take with that. Why, man? Why does it all have to be so intense, man? <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> Can't we all just get along? Mumsy! Mumsy! Fucking Mumsy! <laughs> Mumsy dear, where have you gone? Mumsy, Mumsy! Mumsy! Come back around! <laughs> Reworked, reconfigured in a classical context. Where did you go? Come back around me now, Mumsy Dear. Make me some PB and J's, please. With a small cup of milk. Like, shit, what? <laughs> some 
Minstrel music. Hey, hey. <laughs> oh, fuck. Listen, man. He's got like a bowl of fruit on the table and fucking eating grapes. <laughs> a candelabra <laughs> and a bowl of fruit. <laughs> and a fucking and a tablecloth with like little fucking uh, still lives of uh, fruit and fucking flowers and shit. Repeating, <laughs> r- repeating patterns. Oh, he's got a little bit. Sounds of, nice. He's got a little bit of like, a little bit of dried apricot, some some uh, herbed goat cheese, l- a little glass of wine, some olives, some some grape tomatoes, prosciutto. Pr- some prosciutto out there with some artisan crackers and little artisan bread, stiff breads, Norwegian crisp breads and shit. And uh, he's going to town, man. He's going to find himself today, artistically. He's going to find, <laughs> he's going to find out who he really is. He's going to go into the dark tree like in Star Wars, you know, like the fucking, the, the, the dark tree that, uh, that uh, zing zing goes into with the helmet on and shit and, or he goes. Oh yeah, and he, he cuts slashed, off his head. Cuts off like Darth head Vader's head. head. Yeah, and he's like, "Oh, it's really me." That's what he's gonna have happen today when he's doing this. <laughs> Recognizes that he's the conduit. Yes, Luke. It's you. <laughs> hey, I don't give a shit, man. Uh, this is kind of dumb anyway, but hey, somebody's got to be an artist around here. Zing, zang. Zing. Now I want you to lift your spacecraft out of the swamp. But we can't do that until we've destroyed the shit saber. The brown lightsaber must be destroyed. Uh, it's the one that that takes all of our powers away, Yoda. I thought you would know that shit, Master Yoda. You haven't mastered anything so, other than baiting. So I, I know something that's going to make you mad. <laughs> oh, sweet. Lay it on me. Well, I guess that the the bearded fucking why you dirty son of a bitch what the who that bearded clam from twitter oh yeah the jack flack the fucking ceo fag who looked like fucking scruda yeah the scruda buddha yeah bearded oh, whatever he is fuck the bearded clam the twiddle nothing yes yeah he's got like all his, all his uh, tweets that he's ever made, mm-hmm. and turned them into an NFT mm. that you can buy, and it's going for like an insane amount of money or something. I heard because the sum total of his idiotic thoughts that he bothered to put in uh, what was it? Was it four hundred characters or less or some shit? <laughs> All of those, the collected fucking worth of that fucking trifling, idiotic drool is some insane amount of money, I'm quite sure. What a fucking dickhead. What's he trying to buy a lifetime membership onto the, uh, at the post, post Epstein fucking island? Yeah, the Epstein space, space station. Yeah. (laughs) Oh, no. Because in space, no one can hear you scream. Yeah, there's there's no laws up there either. No, fucking defile. Not even the laws of gravity, just orbiting. <laughs> oh, no. Frictionless, yeah. you know, sex. Frictionless. Ha, ha, ha. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> you like, you're like, don't know that anything's even happening. It's frictionless. You're like, oh, yeah. This is lame. 